ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Okay, we got to talk about Echo. So, I made a couple videos talking about Echo, how some of the reviews are saying it's a total disaster. Some YouTubers are also saying it's a total disaster. And I also made a video about how they basically false advertise Daredevil. If you guys don't know, they were pushing for Daredevil really hard. They were trying to make it look like this was going to be at the level of Daredevil on Netflix. Now, I knew it was never going to be that. But I guess people still believe Marvel Studios. They still believe Disney. But at the end of the day, Daredevil was only there for 98 seconds overall. Now, I sat down and I finally watched the whole, the whole show. And even though I feel like I became more dumb watching this show, this is a total disaster. This is a total disaster of a show. Now, of course, there's going to be people out there that they liked it and everything. But the problem to me is the show just makes absolutely no sense. Now, one the director, I, I believe is the director. They, for some reason, they thought it was smart changing the powers of Echo. Now, if you don't know, in the comics, Echo, basically, she's a taskmaster. She, she can, uh, she's fighting you and she can basically mimic you. So she learns your fighting style and then uses it against you. So she's taskmaster, pretty much. Well, we already had a task. Oh, well, I guess it's it's a woman test master and that fell horribly. So I guess they decided, you know what, let's change her powers. And basically her powers is her powers. She can distribute her powers to other people. But her main powers is she can, I guess you can say she can embody her uh her ancestors, her woman ancestors, who all had powers. And then she can give her powers to whoever's next to her, like her family, so they can protect themselves, right? Makes no sense, but okay, whatever. Then you have this whole, uh, I mean, I'm jumping around. I'm just going to be covering certain things. You have this fight with her and Daredevil. And what can I say? What can I say about this fight? Um, the uh, the people that, whoever made that fight, the stunt doubles, uh, or whatever you call them, um, that was a horrible fight. The The editing was horrible. The, the kicks, the punches, all that stuff. If you pay attention, they do not land whatsoever. Now, when it comes to great fighting styles, when it comes to great fight scenes, the caram, the caraman, the stunt doubles, they make it look like they're getting hit. Even though you know they're not getting hit, but they make it look like they're getting hit. And this, you can see where they're not getting hit. That's horrible, horrible editing. And whoever thought that was the best clip you need to get fired. I'm sorry. You need to get fired. Now, Daredevil fights this female who I believe they say when she was filming this film, she was pregnant or she was just gaining weight or something like that. I, I'm not too sure. But there's certain shots where she's like a little bit skinnier and then she's like really bloated from the face. So I'm assuming she was getting pregnant or something. Either way, Daredevil, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kingpin, couldn't keep up, couldn't take out just a, what, 
maybe 170 pound female and he's supposed to be this train killer okay whatever when it comes to kingpin <clears throat> i told people when when hawkeye was first announced and the rumors were saying that we were gonna see hawkeye during his time of uh <coughs> as the ronin I was like, holy shit, this is going to be badass. Well, we only got like, man, a couple scenes of that. Other than that, the, that show was horrible. The only good thing about that show is Jeremy Renner. I'm sorry. Oh, and uh, the girl that plays Kate Bishop, because she's a really cute girl. Just watching her. I mean, her acting is horrible, but watching her is pretty good. So, after Hawkeye was a total disaster they they did introduce kingpin we all knew that kingpin was gonna be in that show for some reason it was just it was there they destroyed kingpin and hawkeye then we knew he was gonna be on echo and let me just say this they destroy kingpin yet again and the last time he got shot in the eye, some reason he didn't die. And I know some people are going to say, well, in the comics, he got shot like that by her. Okay, fine. They're keeping it as close as the source, right? Why is it that this female, we're supposed to look at her as this good person, even though she's killed people, she's done horrible things. <clears throat> But what she wants to do is basically get rid of Kingpin so she can take over. Which makes no sense, right? Not only that, the show, whenever Vincent D'Onofrio, I believe that's his name, uh, whenever Kingpin's on, on the television, even though the the writing was horrible, even though the, the storyline was horrible, the guy is a phenomenal actor. You can sit there and watch him, even with some horrible lines that he's saying, he's a phenomenal actor, and it works. I can sit down and watch him fucking probably talk about something that I don't really care. I'll sit down and watch it because of him. So they ruined Kingpin. They ruined Daredevil again. They tried to make her as this important character. They had a bunch of MCU women out there. And overall, the show was just horrible. Now, what's the future with this? Can we see Echo come back again? It all really depends. It, it all really depends what happens. I, I, I really believe, and this is just me thinking, if... Deadpool 3 fails. Do not be surprised if the MCU reboots completely. But if Deadpool 3 becomes a billion dollar franchise, <clears throat> we're still going to see these characters. But we're also going to see a little bit of back in the day. Like we're going to have some iconic heroes, some iconic male heroes but it's gonna be a little bit of both right we're gonna have most likely your disney plus shows are gonna be a bunch of female shows and a couple female movies but we're gonna be introduced to some male characters <clears throat> at the end of the day do i recommend echo no i don't i'll be very honest it's not worth your time um, it's not worth even buying Disney Plus. Echo was just one of those shows that the rumor was Kevin Feige wanted to get rid of it, but he couldn't because of identity politics. And this is the main problem with this show. They want to say that it's not because of checking off boxes. When the show is 100% about checking off boxes. The actress that plays Echo 
admits she didn't have any history of being a back, uh, being an actress. She heard about this while she was working as a waitress or something like that. Her friend said they were looking for a deaf indigenous female. Guess what happened? This female that had no experience before, well, she was deaf, she was indigenous, and she had no leg. I believe on her right leg, I think. Right or left, whatever. She gets the opportunity. She got the opportunity. Whatever, man. Whatever. Let me know what you guys think down below. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. Sweat, tears, and blood, you can see it in my eyes. My